America is in grief. America is angry. America is sad. America needs time to heal. My fellow Americans, all American have here, I want to send a message today. I plead to you, stand together in peace. Unite together in peace. After all, our nation was created to be the United States of America. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the injustice we are all witnessing through social media, the unjust killing of George Floyd by a police officer in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Allegedly, he gave a counterfeit $20 bill. That still doesn't excuse his behavior as a police officer. He's there to serve and protect the citizens of America. The arresting police officer pressed his knee towards Floyd's neck for nine whole minutes while handcuffed face down on the ground in the street, which ended up in his death. I am outraged. I am angry. I feel very passionate about this. I did not serve my country to see Americans killing other Americans. Whatever the case may be, this is what I'm talking about. This emotion that you're feeling and that America is feeling is the same emotion that I was feeling when the Twin Towers were struck by terrorists, which is why I joined in the first place. To serve and defend freedom. As angry as I am, and as angry as I was and still will be, I still, I believe violence is not the answer. Looting and rioting is not the answer. Stand together in peace. If you want to make a difference, don't let your negative emotions control you in a negative, destructive way towards society. Remember who you are. What are your values? What are your morals? If you want to make a difference, do it in a constructive way. Register to vote. Find a good representative in your local county, state. Do your own research in any way possible way that you can make a difference. There are different forms, but destroying innocent lives, businesses, violence is not the answer. To those people, whose values have been tarnished or don't have any, I plead to you, please don't destroy what peaceful protesters have gained so much, so much that they've created. Don't allow that to go to waste by looting and rioting. Please don't do that. Stand together in peace. Negative energy begets more negative energy. And if you're aware of who I am, I'm all about positive energy and making a positive difference in society. This is not the way, my fellow Americans. Yes, I'm angry. Yes, I am. Yes, it pisses me off. Yes, I do tear at night from time to time. This is inhumane and it's happened for countless decades and centuries. You understand? I don't know about you, but it infuriates me. But I still believe, I believe in peace. Please stand together in peace. Just like our great leaders from our past time, let me remind you, in the words of the great Abraham Lincoln, government is of the people, by the people, for the people. Destructiveness in the form of looting and rioting is not the answer. Yes, yes, there is injustice, but we need to find a civil manner
to deal with human injustice. Find a way. How can you communicate your goal in a positive, effective way? If you want to make a difference, do it the right way. Do it in a constructive way. There is no need for violence. You have to find that avenue of approach. There is activism in a peaceful way. Do not feed to negativity. There will be a lot of things on social media for their own narrative. Do not feed on that. Think positively, think logically. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Because when they do, the enemy has defeated you. They have a power over you. Don't allow that to happen. The power is within you. Like I've said before in my other videos, if I can do it, you can too. Violence, violence is not the answer. Stand together in peace. My fellow Americans, this, this is, this isn't, this is another level. We understand, I understand how angry you are. In general, I do have respect for our force in blue. I support the police officers, not in what they did. I don't condone the behavior that happened, but do not let a few rotten apples destroy what actual police officers do. I've seen certain footage where some officers actually take a knee and believe and support the cause. Just keep that in mind, my fellow Americans. Keep that in mind that not all police officers are bad. Just a few bunch. Stand together in peace. Listen, America. As of today, the, the officers are being charged with murder in aiding and abetting. Justice will come. I believe in the system. We have to believe in the system. Violence is not the answer. I'm currently still at the PTSD program. And when I found out about what happened, I was actually reading a news article headed towards group. It was around 1 p.m. in the afternoon. I wasn't going to show you this. This is a video, a clip of me, how I felt during that time and how I'm still feeling. But here you go. Just wanna talk about something real quick that's really been affecting me throughout the day, but I just finished. Uh, since I'm in a PTSD program, we just had a dialectical behavioral therapy group, which really helped me channel my anger and learn new new ways to cope with it. Okay, so I, I've calmed down. I was very angry earlier, like it, at 1 p.m. It's like two now. All I know is a fellow American, African-American, an American of color was killed by a police officer. Now, mind you, I am pro police. I, I believe in order only because they should serve and protect. That's, that's literally what they need to protect Americans, not kill them. So that's what pisses me off about this. And especially, and you guys know how I feel about suicide. And, and I, I, I just, I'm just very angry to the point where like, there's no reason for another American killing another American over, I don't know the full details, but regardless, nobody should be dead over something. It, it, we can talk, we're, we're in, in the future, guys. It's 2020, there's no reason to resort to barbaric methods. Anyway, so, uh, what the group really helped me about with it is because I was feeling a certain way and I also read about the whole looting and Target and how actual people in Minneapolis, they're resulting to criminal behavior because uh, they got triggered because of this and, and it's a huge deal in America right now. So, and, and it's dealing with me and I'm from New York, you know, and, and so I was just talking about my anger and what I learned is that what is my goal? What do I want to achieve? So in order for me to channel my anger of injustice, of unfairness, I found that I need, I need to find a way to, to express my anger effectively. To, if I want to make a difference, if I want to make a change in the world, I can't just result to looting or, or whatever, whatever the situation is. And I'm a peaceful person, so uh, but regardless, emotions gets the best of us from time to time, as you guys are aware of if you're human. Um, but, so my point being is, what I learned is, 
I need to find an outlet in a positive way in order so that I can make a difference. Yes, if, 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 I, made, if, if I decided to make a riot over this injustice, it won't make a huge difference in a positive way because people can get hurt. People will get hurt in the process. And you're just acting, you're acting on, on human emotion and creating more destructiveness. So, so that's what I learned. If I want to change, I can channel my anger and, and find what is my goal, what is my purpose, and what do I want to achieve effectively. My, my morals is, you know, I, like Dr. Martin Luther King, he, he said it himself, you know, in his speech is, don't judge me, but don't judge me by the color of my skin, but judge me by my character. But I'm paraphrasing. I can't remember but you guys understand that I believe in equality and, and, and this this just and a, a fellow veteran did say that because he's like about like six or seven years old he did say that there is America goes in cycles and right now this is one of them because he's seen it in the past so I guess it's my my time to to go through this cycle so I guess I'll all I want to say is channel your anger in a positive way, my fellow Americans. Don't resort to destructive behavior. Find a peaceful way to, to make a difference. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'll find my own way. That's all I want to say. Thank you. America. That was the clip of the day when I found out. And during the week, I've just been actively listening. I, I, I have not formed my opinion because I did not know all the details and we all still don't know all the details of what happened. But America, if you wanna make a constructive, effective way of change, only you can decide if you wanna make a change. Like, that power is within you. Me, I, all American Ave. I choose to, on a daily basis, to improve myself mentally, physically, and spiritually with God. I am grateful to be given the position of where I am now. I am working on myself in order so I can help out other human beings, other civilians in society. You have that power as well. Do it for your own benefit, America. Let's grow. Remember, we are a young country, a very young country, but we always improve on ourselves. America has always improved on themselves. Every generation, we always make a change. As horrible as it is, America, I also wanna to say to the rest of the world, I am grateful and thankful we have gotten support from other nations in the world due to this tragedy. From Greece, from London, New Zealand, Denmark, Italy, and other nations if I forgot, thank you. That's just a testament about how the world feels about America. They might laugh and joke, but they're with us. As a leading country in freedom, they support us. They are there for us, if you noticed. So remember, we have to reciprocate whenever it happens towards the world as well. America, I plead to you, stand together in peace. My fellow Americans, remember, violence is not the answer. If you wanna protest, do it in a peaceful way. Progress, not perfection. America. The power is within you.